Hello and what's up guys, this is Rohit from Android Developers and today I'm gonna make a video on how to transfer data from one view controller to another in Swift. Many of my friends requested and I also got some requests from YouTube so I said heck yeah let's make it. Let's go ahead and make a single view application. You can choose any one which you like. I'm gonna make a single view application. I'm gonna call it my transfer transfer and we gonna put it in and we're gonna create it uh, uh, put it to 5s we go to the storyboard and what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this view controller as our input view controller and this view controller as our output view controller and first here I'm gonna show it I'm gonna give an identifier to my segue my segue my seg okay just so you know, just click here, control, click and drag it here to make that happen, okay? Mm, about the sizes, I want 4.7, that's, that's what I like. And I'll embed them in navigation view controller. Okay. So, here we are. Um, now, the designing, we'll first take a text field here, and we'll take a button and we'll take a label for the another one here so what we're trying to accomplish is whatever I type in the text field and then I then I click submit so this value should appear in this label right here I'm gonna make it center align and I'll just give constraints so that they look all right Okay, and yeah, update frames. You can go ahead and update frames. And this, we're tight and horizontally. Okay, for this one right here, I'm gonna pin it here, here, here. I'm gonna constrain it to margins. Add three constraints. Okay, it doesn't matter, right? So that's there, and we're gonna make a file command and Go for that. We're gonna call that Desti view controller. We don't want to make a zip file because we already have Storyboard. So let's create it. And there we have it. And back here, I'll link it to this view controller. I'll say Desti. Okay. Now we'll just create the outlets and actions. And it's selected to automatic. It'll automatically show that. Control click drag my text field. That's my outlet right there. And this is my submit button. I'll take it as an action. I'll select it as an action. I'll tell that it's a type UI button. And I want to say take action. That's about it. And in my label here, okay. Desti popped up. I'm gonna call it my label. Uh, when I'm at it, I'm also gonna get, gonna make a variable called my string equal to string. And that's about it. Now I'll think of you controller here, and as for this side, I'll go to manual and put Desti. Okay, so we're here. So. In take action, I'll call self dot perform single with identifier, and in the identifier, I'm gonna pass my sag the sender. I'll just pass the sender. That's the button. This calls the method prepare for segue, and here I'm gonna make a variable of destination view controller. I'm gonna call it desti type class desti view controller, and I'm gonna say that it's equal to segue dot destination view controller as desti view controller okay now I can use desti dot my string and I'll pass the the data from my text field dot text to my string so uh, okay now Whatever data I type in my text field.txt goes in desti.my string and 
it it comes here now it's in my variable my string right so whenever this view loads all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna call my label and it's text should be equal to my string that's it that's all you have to do and run it okay let's try it out let's type test and submit and yes we got test let's say castile row and submit yep it's working so that's it guys i hope this helps you and please like comment and subscribe sayonara